All right, students, I apologize. This is part two to my morning meeting this morning. I think I got so excited about being able to use the iPad um, that I forgot to share what was expected of you today for your work. Um, I'm hoping you're kind of starting to get the idea with the calendar, checking it off as you go along, okay? Um, so the goal for today is to complete day 95 in your morning work packet. Um, you're expected to read for 20 minutes. You can read a book from your own library or a book on Epic. You can also listen to the read aloud that I'm about to record and post um, on a book called The Leprechaun's Gold. And you're going to pick a reading response sheet to complete. You're going to write at least four super sentences. For writing, you're going to pick a topic from the writing prompt menu. Write in your writing journal and include a drawing. For phonics... You're going to complete pages 25 to 28 in the From Phonics to Reading book. For cursive, you're going to complete page 7 as of the cursive book. And for math, if you have not already, you're going to complete pages 143 to 144. I just made a video that goes along with those pages and some of the pages to come on Skip Counting by Twos. Please watch it so that you know how to complete the pages properly. And then not only can you play Prodigy for 20 or 30 minutes, but if you look to the left of my screen, you can check out First in Math as another great math game. Okay, The login info is individual for each student, and it's on Google Classroom under Math, and the link is on Clever. So you want to... Um, the PDF that's on Google Classroom, um, it is under math. Here, I can show it to you on my screen. No, that's Google Drive, Google Classroom. Get started. All right, so this is what your Google Classroom page should look like too. So you're gonna click Miss Egan, second grade, 2020. Mine obviously might look a little bit different than yours because I'm on my iPod right now. So it comes up with the new materials that I posted. This is the Skip Counting by Two lesson, okay? Um, but another way to look at it, if you go to the bottom and you press Classwork here, all right? It's all organized by category, okay? So we have the morning meetings posted here. We have general information. We have Google Classroom Practice. We have Health and PE from Miss Barber. We have some reading here, and here in math, right here is where you can find the first in math login, and you're going to um, have to scroll through the PDF in order to find your name, so the instructions are here. It says, first in math is another great resource for your student to practice math online. Please scroll through until you find your student's name for instructions on how to log in, okay? Um, there's also some math manipulatives that I added here um, that can help you to um, do your work. So, for example, this is a number line. So if you wanted to practice skip counting by twos, two, four, six, eight, seven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. This is just for helping you, okay? Back to Google Classroom. Let's see what else is on here. Um, we do have a skip counting workout here. There's a YouTube video attached. Um, inflectional endings. I talked about this yesterday. Adding S and ES to make something plural. That's a video. You have art homework here from Ms. Stapleton where you want to compile certain materials so that you can do art. Uh, you have a science assignment here um, from Miss Galvin with some attachments on some pretty flowers. Um, what else is on here? Oh, this is the PBS lesson that I was talking about, okay? If you click on PBS Learning Media and you open it up, it's really great extra work, okay? Um, hopefully that should work for you with your login. So let me know if that doesn't. Back to Google Classroom. Um, I'm 
I'm about to post read aloud on here. Um, this is where you can find the example reading response sheets. Okay. And there's also blank reading response sheets here. Um, a lot of people still have not done this yet, but under general information, I really want everyone to be able to post their name. Alicia has done it. That is it. Great job, Alicia. Other than that, I want you to post your name when you've gotten onto Google Classrooms that I know you've been on here. Also, families, I would greatly appreciate if you could send me any videos that you have of students doing at-home learning, um, any videos, any pictures, just as proof that um, they're doing it and that you know, all of this hard work is paying off on both everyone's end. Um, I want to make sure that I walked you through everything. There's a copy of the writing calendar here um, in case you don't have one or if you want to look at it online while you're writing. Um, and then there's a complete sentences anchor chart. It's reminding us that you can use a capital letter, spaces, and a period when you write sentences. Make sure you have all of those things. All right, so that's kind of a little second part of morning meeting and a little Google Classroom tutorial. Um, again, you can check the stream or you can do your classwork here. I think at the end here, Miss Barber just wrote us a note saying to follow Teacher Barb's one on Instagram if you would like for more things health and PE. All right, students, um, I'm going to record my read aloud now, so make sure you're looking out for that later in the day. Have a great day. Bye.